at the local annual food fest. This is our seventh year that we've done this, and it is bigger and better than ever. We are showcasing local food and a celebration of local food. We have a lot of local produce, people who um, sell at growers markets and contribute to the economy. We have watermelons, chilies, zucchinis, and squash. I decided to become a, a farmer because I want to give back to the community. I want to give them the uh, good vegetables and the right uh, stuff for us, for them to eat. Burn Co. Bernie, who was on a true mission to find that geocache treasure said, the historic Gutierrez Hubble House in the South Valley was the site of the local food festival and field day. The seventh annual event brought together farmers, food trucks, and value-added food producers to showcase their fruits, veggies, soaps, jams, and jellies. Folks traveled from across town and across the country to attend this farm-to-market event. We're vegan, and we're here visiting friends, and I always go to farm things, and especially when you talk about non-GMO and organic, and yeah, it sounded really like a great thing to go to. It would be something we would have done if we were up in Santa Fe, and we couldn't believe it was where we were staying at. My family's from Taos. They come here every year anticipating this event. We come out to find all the great homemade foods, the jellies, the lotions and creams, and getting the beans, the chicos, sweet potatoes. I mean, it's just something exciting. From fig trees to honey, all local stuff that's grown here, vegetables, it's, it's great. This year's theme, We've Got the Dirt on Local Food, promoted the opportunity to get down and dirty, learning how to compost, use worms, recycle. We have no waste here this year, which is very exciting, and they're actually sorting our garbage for us to use that as an educational component. We're going to whipped cream for the custard. There were chef's demonstrations and tastings. We saw a demonstration by From Seasons, the chef, and we had eaten there last week, so that was kind of exciting to see his demonstration on pastry stuff. And as always, great entertainment to keep the fun going all day. We've been coming out for the past couple years, and I think we come out to see what the local agricultural scene in New Mexico is like and to try and help keep it alive. And I love the, the atmosphere, and it's really a great event. It has a lot of good mix of people, too, I think. Always held on the last day of the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta, an estimated 5,000 people attended this year's event. So lots of farmers are out here selling this year's harvest. So we've got pumpkins, we have chilies, we have all sorts of yummy produce that you can take back to your home and cook up. And then we have value-added produce as well. It really fits well within our Cultivating Bernalillo County initiative where we're out here trying to support local agriculture. And this is an important piece to that. So mark your calendars and join us for the next annual local food festival and field day on Sunday, October 9th, 2016. Bernalillo County, we're more than you think.